all know about red squirrels and most of us have seen grey squirrels, but in the gardens of this suburban street lives something a lot more unusual. Ever heard of a black squirrel? Ah, hello, hi, John. Hi. Hiya. Any sign of it yet? Not as yet, but we, we live in hope. OK. <laughs> so, John, you've got a black squirrel in your garden. Yes, we have. Um, he comes and visits us most days, but... Um, it's not here at the moment. No, he's not here at the moment. <laughs> That's the problem, though, isn't it? Ah. Yeah. So do you feed it? Is that what brings it in? Well, we do. We've got some sort of bird um, peanuts, and he'll pop in and um, pick them up, yes. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it's done wonders for your garden bird life. You've got robins and... Dunnocks and song thrushes, all sorts of garden yes, birds out there. Actually. So have you got any proof that it really exists? <laughs> Funny you say that. I have this photo that I took just a couple of weeks ago. So you're not going mad. They do no, exist. No, that is our Mr Black Squirrel. They are fantastic. And do you like them? I don't really know. I mean, they, they actually look quite vicious, don't they? <laughs> that one does. <laughs> it's yeah, got a bit yeah. demonic yeah. eye. It has, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's absolutely typical. You show up with a film camera, and there's no sign of the animal. But I think I know where I might be able to find the elusive black squirrel. Let's see if the locals have any idea. Have you seen any of these around? Grey squirrels? Well, this one's a black one, actually. Black one, OK. Have well, you seen black ones here before? No. Have you seen any of these around? I have seen one in the churchyard here. Have you seen any of these? Is that a grey? That's a black one. Possibly a black one in the churchyard. Around? Black squirrels, yeah, yeah, everywhere. Are they? Yeah. Does that make you feel proud having them here? I wouldn't go that far, but I like. <laughs> that. There's uh, probably about seven or eight that live in this churchyard. Okay, so I can see pigeons and the squirrel. Bushy tail, but looks pretty grey to me. Yes, a typical grey squirrel. I think I'm going to need some help to find the elusive black version. Scientist Helen McRoby has been studying these unusual creatures and might be able to shed some light on them. Oh, now I can see a dray up there. Signs oh, made of leaves. Oh, look, I can see them. Oh, look! They do exist, a genuine black squirrel. So what has happened to make these squirrels black? Oh, no, I was looking at the gene for fur colour and comparing the grey to the blacks. And what I found was uh, the black squirrel's got uh, far more melanin in its, in its fur, so it makes it much darker. And this gene for fur colour is actually the same gene in humans, which makes you blonde mm -hmm. and me, makes me a brunette. Hang on a minute. Now the sun's come out, this particular black squirrel has a good deal of brown in its fur too. Now the brownie squirrel is actually a cross between the black squirrel and the grey squirrel. And that's what we've got here? Yeah, and that's what we've got there, yes. Yeah. And he's got a lovely bushy tail, just like the grey. And that's not all that surprising, because whether they're black or brown, these are in fact the very same species as the familiar grey squirrel, with just that one single gene making them look so different. And that might also explain why black squirrels are doing rather well. It could be that that gene is having other effects in the squirrel. It might be making it, its immune system better, or it might be making more uh, testosterone in its blood, which could affect its behaviour. Or it could be that uh, black squirrels are just better at mating or um, more successful at finding mates. More, more attractive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. The greys just aren't as cute as the new kids on the block. When it comes to the latest in squirrel fashion, black really is the new black. <laughs>